Melody is an essential building block for crafting a song. You want to create melodies that have motion, rhythm, tonality, and feeling. What you feel and hear and feel in your heart is going to be the best judge. If it moves you, that's the best place to start. And if you can sing it with that feeling, that's where you want to be. Tonality is your pitch, which is essential. And bending pitch is musical when it's musical. It's also a very personal thing. Some people like that sound. Okay? Some singing is very straight or presentation of melody. So it's a very personal choice. Okay? Rhythmic support for the melody is key. Remember that with pitch, it's about the duration of the pitch. Na, na, but duration relates to the space between the pitch. So duration is what you have in your melody, but also the space between it. So you can have your iPhone recorder and record your acapella melodies. You can have your guitar and your piano, and you can come up with melodies, and that's a great way to go. Here's an example of motion. So I'm going. Da 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 la di dum ba ha da da. There's motion in that melody, and motion in melody is good. Talking melody, talking blues, super cool too. There can be great success in that. Okay, so rhythm in the melody is really important. So here's an example of that from my tune, The Ballad of Reuben. I would do anything to change what happened that day. I would do anything to change what happened that day. So happened has a real rhythmic sync to it, and that's really important with your lyrics. Sometimes it's good to float lyrics, Here's an example of a floating melody. Say you live, I won't forgive. A part of me dies with you. Say you live, I won't forgive. A part of me dies. That's for my tune, Say You'll Live, and the melody has sort of longer notes that sort of hover over this more rhythmic acoustic guitar, and that works really well too, that kind of an approach. Now, if you're having trouble coming up with a melody, it's important to sort of spend some time, you know, with music. So let's talk about that for a second. The guitar, I think of as a single string instrument like on a piano, from C to C, the 12 keys, all the black and white keys. So the guitar... That's the 12-tone row, the chromatic scale. Now in E, from E to E, you have all the notes that make up all the scales. You have your sort of Phrygian sound, you have your major sound. You have your minor sound. You have your bluesy. Everything is in there, so you can experiment with the sounds to create simple melodies and sort of build scales out of that. So, do I know my major scale? Do I know my natural minor scale? My Phrygian? And out of these, you can sort of pick melodies. So if I'm here, and I'm having trouble getting a melody, maybe it's... 
da da. You can take a scale and extract notes from the scale you want to create a melody. If I'm here. So you can take your melodies from the scales. You can also take melodies from chords. And having a vocabulary with chords can be great, inspiring you to start a melody and then create a song. Let's say you have this chord. The notes are in the chord, and they lead you to developing a melody. All right, another way to help us find our melody is to understand harmony and work with harmony. Okay, harmony are when you put two notes or three notes or notes within a chord together to sort of stack notes and make a sound. But sometimes a harmony can lead to a melody or a harmony can support a melody you're working on and take you to another part. Remember, we're being playful and creative, so everything we approach is with like this open attitude of discovery and joy. So if I'm like this, say, in fifth and faith, playing my D voicing up here, and I go like this, Those are all little harmonies. And what if I started with a melody that went, I don't know And I got my chords while I made it up. I went, G, G, D, D, C, C, D, D. And it came out of this harmony, this harmony, this harmony, this harmony. So if you can learn your scales and the chords they relate to, you can just play around with picking and, and riffing and noodling and jamming. And you come up with stuff. The key with writing and crafting a song is you have to commit to what you're gonna create. You can't just be like an open-ended thing if you're gonna complete the crafting of a song. All right, now counterpoint is another way of using melody, and I have a tune called Favorite Tune, which has a chorus that goes like this. guitar is playing the counterpoint. La, le, la, 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 le, la, 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 Now if I had a second singer, the second singer could do that, or a trumpet, or a piano. If I'm playing alone, that's the way I do it. So counterpoint is a way of having two melodies that relate to each other, and it's a wonderful thing to use in composition. The last idea is polyphony. This is where you have two separate melodies that sort of relate in a piece but are really independent. This is super cool, but you need another partner to make the music. These are all the major elements of melody. Remember that what you feel in your heart and what you hear in your ear will be the greatest um, tempering factor for how good your melody is. If it doesn't sell for you, it's not going to move anybody else. So now let's move on to our assignment for melody. <laughs>